Hello and welcome to another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. My guest today is Denis Maslenikov, uh, one of our senior antivirus researchers. And Denis specializes a lot in mobile security issues, a lot of the issues around smartphones. And one of the things that comes up a lot lately is the issue of targeted attacks, which is big on the desktop side, targeted attacks on smartphones. Are you starting to see any evidence that there's going to be some sort of uh, uh, business focus attacks against, say, executives using an, an Android device or an iPhone or some sort of uh, a mobile device? Are you starting to see evidence of that yet? Well, um, we haven't seen uh, information in public sources about the targeted attack on the smartphone uh, has taken place, but now uh, we have all prerequisites for a uh, targeted attack on the smartphone uh, for any platform almost. Can you walk me through uh, some potential areas of danger as it well, relates to smartphones? First of all, that? we must say that uh, today uh, like a smartphone device is almost like, uh, like your device is you. It's a mini you. computer, yes. Yeah, it's you. Uh, your business contacts, your work emails, your SMS files, messages, SMS files, call logs, photographs, you know, trip calendar and well meetings calendar something else a anything else you use for work purposes or personal purposes and well it means that uh, this information is also valuable for uh, a potential attacker right and that's why well there is uh, so the logic says that is if there's valuable information here eventually they're going to go after it yeah we've already seen evidence in the past of uh, trojans for mobile devices yeah working trojans for mobile devices Taking that the logical next step is what? Uh, uh, these specialized Trojans for certain CEOs, certain executive specialized targeted well, Trojans? If we talk about a targeted attack generally, uh, it's obvious that cyber criminals uh, will develop a unique malware for a concrete targeted attack on a concrete person. But still, uh, a targeted attack on a smartphone. Uh, it is possible that they won't use malware. They may be, it's possible they try to steal your device, maybe. Right, right, right. Or try to access the data if you leave your device um, uh, somewhere like for a couple of minutes or a couple of uh, hours. As you look at mobile operating systems and platforms, uh, are you noticing cyber criminals going against uh, targeting one specific platform over another? Is there, an, is there a higher increase in malware targeting one platform over another? Well, uh, if we talk about 2011 and smartphone platforms, yes, 84% uh, of all malware discovered for smartphone platforms is targeting Android right now. So the majority of all malware okay. discovered uh, is targeting Android because Android continues to grow. Uh, it's become bigger and bigger right, right, all right. over the world. So it and it's more so, open, it makes it better. Yeah, more attention to cyber from cyber criminals. What types of malware are you seeing on Android? Uh, you know, malware is really like uh, various. We see applications which are trying to steal some information, like IMI numbers and personal information. Uh, we saw applications which, as usual, are trying to send SMS messages to premium rate numbers. We saw applications which are trying to communicate with the remote server and then load some comments from the remote server right, and right. receive them. So these are like mobile botnets almost. Are you seeing a spike in these SMS trojans that we've spoken about in the past, these uh, uh, premium rate SMS issues? Is that continuing to be a big issue on mobile? platforms? Uh, now yes, but uh, unfortunately this problem started to spread uh, abroad. So Beyond Russia? Yes. Uh, well, good example. Uh, do you remember dial-up modems? Yes, of course. Yeah, they were really popular. And uh, what was one of the biggest problems with dial-up modems, if we talk about the malware? Dialing Trojans. Or yes. Oh, yes, yes. Porn, porn dialers. dialers. Yes. Porn dialers. We all had a porn dialer on our, on our computer, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, now dial-up uh, is it's gone. I mean, it's yeah, nice. but uh, we have smartphones, and now, uh, like last week, uh, in the beginning of June, we have discovered porn SMS senders. Applications, really? Yeah, applications which uh, send SMS messages to premium rate numbers in order to subscribe users to some kind of but, porn service, right, right. or they post themselves like fake dating services or there is some kind of end user license agreement where it's written that this application is, was created for uh, for, grant, for granting access to a porn site or to video materials or to ringtones or oh, something yeah, right. else. Uh, and we discovered applications which target a user from United States, from United Kingdom, from Kenya, from Malaysia, from Netherlands and from South Africa. Wow. 
just to wrap up quickly as we go back to this notion of targeted attacks on smartphones, yep. what advice do you give to the typical CEO, CIO who wants to deploy smartphones in the enterprise? Do, we, do, they, do they treat smartphones any differently than they treat their computer? Is it the user education issue still has to be in place? Yes, uh, it's very important to provide information of how to stay secure. Uh, some uh, concrete security tips may be different, like uh, First of all, it's not a good idea to use public Wi-Fi networks on corporate device and uh, well, remote wipe software must be mandatory for all corporate devices. Right. But still other tips like uh, updating operating system regularly, um, don't click on the leaks on spam SMS messages. Avoid or, installing apps from strange places. Yes, do not root or jailbreak your device and well, tips are the same but they must be combined and they must be uh, really well documented, right? Yes, in order to provide these security policies to all devices using the corporate network. Thank you very much, Dennis. Very, very good stuff. Thank you. And thank you for watching another edition of Lab Matters, a webcast from Kaspersky Lab. You can check out some other webcasts at youtube.com/kaspersky. Mm -hmm.